and look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What's up? Is that my kid? Sean? Huh? <coughs> yes, I'm Sean. Mm. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Uh, Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's is this on? is Father? Father! Sean, honey, what do you want me to do? I don't know you. Go away, Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Who is Father? Where is he? Father. Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Prototype. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. What's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. Just... help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers, and answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am. Your son. What? How is that even <clears throat> possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. This really is a matter of importance. You're not too overwhelmed.
This really is a matter of importance. Yeah, well, hold on a second. No one's watching my stream. Are you following? This really is a matter of importance. Are you following? I hope you're not too overwhelmed. Are you following? This really is a matter of importance. Are you following? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been <coughs> exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you.
I hope you're not too overwhelmed. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to This chair's not very comfortable. <clears throat> Try a different chair. Not too overwhelmed. Who knows? Maybe being able to lean back further would be. Are you following? Be helpful. I'd be more comfortable now. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Give me experience. You know a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. My Nobody son is older than me. Heard. I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often, but... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute, and now after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. <coughs> I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be... More than a bit 
biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people. Oh, the God. Earth. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Mm, so weird. The Institute. It's on the map. Okay, so that's just a little... A little nothing there. Can't go in. What do we have here? Spanner. Ear examiner. The board tweezers. Okay. Sean, uh, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. He's definitely impressive. Yes, it's pushed our technology to the limit. We've gained some valuable insights in terms of both hardware and software. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we got here. Storage room kind of stuff. Look what that is. Eject? Huh. Well, yeah, let's explore the Institute, see what we got. Temp, moist, light, pan. Huh. Okay. Got, uh. Okay. I mean, if they're free for the taking, then I'll take those. Thank you. <clears throat> nice. Uh oh, what does that do? The Institute is about preserving humanity. That's what we have to remember. FEV lab. Oh, that's interesting. Robotics. Okay. Okay. Phase three in advanced systems. SRB. Our output is maxed. Hmm. 
older than a hundred. is that thing? You can only tell what it looks like. Scissors. Well, anything that's in cabinets and stuff, I'll take if it's not stealing. But all this. Okay, so. Alright, so it looks like we're in like an apartment here for. Yeah, there's Sean, is in there. Did we come up from here? No. Okay. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the okay. best primary <coughs> breakdown this month. Smaller than you consider. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Get a, a save in here, be handy. Oh shit! Okay, Autorizer, all this stuff. We can take all that, but like I'm, I'm gonna kind of role play a little bit. Leave all that up there. I will definitely take those though. I'll take all of those. I'll leave all that stuff on. Okay, so what are you? Scanning. Subject identified. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Operating at full capacity. Okay, well you don't do shit, apparently. Okay. <clears throat> so robotics and bioscience. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. Doctor? They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, alright. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through <coughs> so much, I think most of you would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Uh, it's my son. Duh. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. <sighs> I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. All right, let me know what you got. We keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Okay, so we know we're here to use do a lot of power. Use a lot of power. the Institute's requisition, <clears throat> I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you have.
Oh, we can actually sell some stuff. It's awesome, because I've been wanting to sell a couple things. That I did not want to keep around. Uh, it's this one, and then also this one. Just some crap I wanted out of there. Get rid of... I shouldn't have grabbed that bourbon anyways, but... Buff out? Isn't buff out a drug? I'm pretty sure buff out's a drug. Corn, we'll keep that. I don't want any. Maybe I'll keep one of those. Dirty water. I don't think we can turn dirty water into... Into anything yet. Ice cold Nuka-Cola Quantum. I don't know if I have one of those. I think we're actually going to radiate blood. I don't think I could do anything with those either. Jet, that's drugs. We'll sell all the drugs we have. Medex, melons, mentats. Those are drugs as well. <clears throat> Almost positive we have all these nukas. So we're going to get rid of all these and we're going to go... Maybe I will keep one of each of these radiated, radiated food items. I don't ever use the damn stealth boys anyways, but I'll keep on. I'm about prepared, man. I don't know what to do with those vodkas, wine. Okay, what do you have, a clean room suit? I think we want a clean room suit. Institute division head coat, institute jumper, institute lab coat, mark two synth chest piece. I think these, all these synth pieces are just pimped out ones, so we don't really care. I've already got all the synth pieces, so I think we'll be okay there. Um, I sold most of the crap that I want to sell. I think. So let's. Go ahead and leave it at that. Okay, <clears throat> so we're in systems or whatever. We can go to bioscience, we can go to robotics, but I just want to go all the way out here and see what else we got. Okay, so now we're right out to the cent center. Okay, what was it called? Systems? Allie, what's on your mind? What system, what division is this called? Bioscience. Bioscience? Okay. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Robotics. Synth retention. Advanced systems. Dining, bioscience. <sighs> well, shit. Good evening. One, two, three, four. So maybe we should start with just these four, and then we'll come up to those to explore. What, what, what are we doing here? Bios? No. Here. Glad you made it. I don't know which freaking one this is. Robotics. Definitely will take all of those. Maintenance terminal. Oh, shit balls. What do we have going on here? Ooh, got us an elevator to a secret area. <clears throat> That's not the gun. What do we got here? Be quiet. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's cool. A little immersion there. I'm gonna put the gun away and the flashlight off, I guess. <clears throat> Bring the 
this down a little bit here. Okay. Oops, we don't need to be high. Okay. Okay, well, before, let's see, so before it was, uh, it was like Sean's apartment, right, with the little kid and stuff. So, Secord? What the hell is Secord? Second? Did it say second? It definitely says Secord. Okay, Secord. Let's go see what we've got here. Just a... Somebody's bathroom, little apartment here. Blast radius board game. Oh, somebody else owns it. Okay. Okay, so so Secord. So let's let's just go with that. What it do, baby? All right. Uh, okay, so this is like a symmetrical. So this is these are apartments basically. <clears throat> Very weird computers. Oh, what's up, Julia? Hi. Oh, you're a little kid. Isn't it wonderful here? Uh, sure. Okay, she's got some toys. That's a cool baseball bat, though. I might take it. I'll definitely take stuff out of cabinets. Okay, so we can go back here. Go up again. So your father's mother. But he's older than you. That's weird. Hey, You're sir, weird. I'm not scared of the surface. Excuse me. Okay, chill. Okay. Uh, open, inaccessible, open. Okay. More. More bathroom. Oh, we can go in the shower. Should we go in the shower? Can we? Can we go? Can we take a shower? Be like the best shower I had taken since the game has started. Pre-war lamp. Oh, it's knocked over. I wonder if we can... Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Damn it. Double damn it. <laughs> Whatever. I can't really rotate the mouse that way, apparently. Okay, so now we've got some kind of uh, an elevator. That's the, the main elevator that we went down earlier. Okay, well, not a whole lot going on there. Let's just keep going up. Let's keep exploring. Nothing back behind there. Looks like, looks like we can now go around. Higgs. Okay, it's definitely a name. Secord and Higgs. Different names of people. The old post. What? No, no. Get up. Get up. Don't want to sit down. Why is the toilet tank cover able to be activated? That's really weird that I can't just pick... Like, it's really weird that they rendered it as a separate object. Oh, I didn't need to buy a clean room suit. Or... Did the one say... Did it say Institute Clean Room Suit? Let's see what the clean room suit looks like. Oh yeah, okay. Institute Division Head Coat. Oh, hell yeah! I'm like the bouse. Let's go back to the Courser uniform now. Okay, nothing there. Alright. So... Okay. Nothing there, nothing there, and we can go to the other wings. We cannot go up any further. <clears throat> All right. So, if we go to sense retention, okay, we can go up to sense retention. Protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Doctor Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Always be vigilant. Dang. Any enemies. Good to see you. Feeling well today? Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. 
I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. It'll take some time, but I could learn to like it here. I'm so glad to hear you say so, and promise I'll work hard to make sure that you do. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Damn! <clears throat> right on. Okay, uh, so... We'll start the next trial, then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Okay, so we already hit that area up, right? We already hit that area up. Now we're gonna hit. Now we're hitting red. Okay, let's go into red. Let's see what we got. I hope I'll prove a useful in, test subject for you, a doctor. And get a file going. No hurry, though. After what I've been through, let's do it. A checkup is probably a good idea. I should think so. Who knows what you might have been exposed to up there? How about you take some time to get comfortable? Learn the lay of the land. And in the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself so I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Soon enough, fool. I have to admit, the third generation synths are really something. Father is more than just our leader, he is our creator. All right, so he doesn't want to do my damn thing now. Okay, sensor tension, advanced systems. Okay, let's get in here and see what we can. What kind of trouble yeah, we, we can. can. Oh, okay. Let's go, come on. Sometimes you can't click through this crap quick enough. It's like it's, like it's thinking. Oh, okay. Anticipated. Some, some rad roaches or something, but nothing. Okay. So let's roll up upstairs and see what else we got. Okay, uh, Orman. Okay, so we got another another apartment. Totally take Institute Jumper out. Is that a mirror? Not a very good mirror. I didn't see myself in it. Didn't didn't render as a mirror very well there. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, we're just looking for anything out of the ordinary. Want to map this place out? Okay, so I hit up both of those. Let's keep rolling up. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done, all that he has built. Okay, got some nice, some nice pictures up, some nice decorations. Let's go. Oh, what's up, girl? Responsibility to make sure I already place runs talked safe. to you. Why do you have a dick doll? Isn't that a drug? Cure. Oh, cures all addictions. Okay. Clinton Fillmore. Is it a kid? That's a little kid. He's not gonna say shit to you. What's that little kid? Sometimes I hide my dad's work notes just to mess with him. It drives him crazy. <laughs> Kids are little shits. <laughs> Alright. Okay, cool. Looks like you could come out here and go jump to the other side if you wanted to. Okay, cool. Let's keep going though. Okay, over here we've got okay, bathroom, whatever little thing. We're getting a lot of lab coats that we can sell here. Liam, oh, we can kill him if we want. Liam Benet, Eve, what's up, Liam? Trying to learn chess. This computer always beats me. It's kind of like a late teen. Excuse me. What's up, girl? Institute's first personal scent. I try to set a good example. Whoa. All personal scents are as good looking as you. I should get one for myself. Why, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, girl. I can be of much help with that. Yeah. It has certainly made my day. It was Aww. a real pleasure to meet you. 
I'm sure you're still taking everything in, so I'll let you get back to that. Dang, she shot me down. She was like, thanks, but GTFO? Alright, let's keep rolling. <clears throat> I'm gonna get you this quickish. Okay, uh, let's go up on the floor. Just mapping this place out still. Okay. Okay, we've got sliding doors. Okay, we got a potty. Okay, we go outside. Okay. This is maybe some kind of like a <clears throat> like a double. This is like a suite. Ah, advanced systems notes, and then now we can go over to the next one, which we don't want to do yet because we're not. Oh gosh! All right. Okay. So we just got done with red. Uh, we did green, we did blue, now we're doing red, or we just did red, now we're doing yellow. So this is the last one of the four down here. Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Did I turn off the interferometer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir. Calm down, that homie. It's no longer available. Useless machine. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? Untarnished coffee pot. Ooh. Okay, advanced in bioscience. Get some health back, I think. Yep, health and no radiation. Now, why is that panel off? Okay. It's pretty sweet ammo boxes. Institute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got some stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff that we could take to go use in our settlement, but I'd rather just leave it look the way it is. So there's like bare shelves everywhere. Alright. Okay. Go back here. It looks like they're like some of these places are like under construction still, like some of the panels aren't up that should be maybe. Okay, we've got a Definitely take all of that. Holder and a pen. Dr. Newton Ogilvy. over. Oh, we already talked to him. He ain't doing shit for us. <clears throat> okay. Good to see you. Feeling well today? Yeah, he don't want to talk to me. Okay, so we go back out here to the other side. What do we got here? Non-damaged camera. Yoink. Okay, so we've pretty much found like where all the offices are, or where all the like apartments are, or whatever. Dean Volker, who's who, uh, Brendan. Excuse we haven't me. talked to Brendan yet. Let's definitely take all that, take all that, take all that. Let's talk to this. You're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, did that. Ayo, Ayo and Carlin. <coughs> okay, now this Ayo guy, somebody wanted to get a hold of him, remember? That Ober Oberly, 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 Newton Overly, Oberly. So I wonder if this Ayo guy is a jerk or not. Curious. He's got does have a personal terminal, so let's look at it. Let's see what's going on here. Disable security safeguards. I don't know what that means. Oh. 
can we can we load in the network? Okay, I don't, I don't think that really did anything all for us, but whatever. Let's go check out Carlin's room. Okay. Go back here, got the bathroom again. Got a terminal that we can't access, we got... I swear that sensor was just moving, but whatever. Definitely take that and that. This is a unique apartment that we haven't really seen like this yet. Oh, that's like the first like big bed I think we've seen too. For, uh, for, for Carla. Oh, what's up? All systems nominal. What's up, Synth? Okay, there's nothing else that now see the dang things off again. Well, let's. Come on, man. Let me jump off this thing. Okay. Okay, so we've checked out all four of them. Now, we started originally with green. So let's go clockwise from green now, and let's go up into the, the sectors. To keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. All right, that's all for now. You can resume your duties. You know, I love my work, but I love being a father even more. Please don't get any germs on me. If it were just a limb twitching, but her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching. What? 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 What the shit? You just don't want to admit yourself what you do. If you're about to launch into one of your impassioned speeches about artificial sentience and machines with souls, don't bother. I've heard enough of them by now. Write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines, so we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. Ray, you know where to find the telephone. Just a moment. I never said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Where? It's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. <coughs> Hello, welcome. Please, step this way for processing. This is awesome. Hello. Oh, it's like injecting them. Well, I'm not sure what it was doing. We see blood now, though. I wonder if it was like getting the blood pumping or something. 
maybe we see maybe we're not seeing blood we're seeing muscles <clears throat> apparently <laughs> okay so now it takes that puts them in there holy shit okay that is cool this is very cool I don't remember seeing that before if you so, ask me the synth software could use a little more debugging Hi, Doc. You've arrived at a momentous time. Our third generation synths are a true breakthrough. The culmination of centuries of research. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. What I've seen so far is pretty impressive. It's just the beginning. Like I said, a momentous time. Okay, um... <clears throat> this is our robotics terminal. Synth, what are we doing over here? Uh, looks like just some different fluids. Uh, apparently. Go to these places. Okay, some more fluids. Apparently. Okay. Alan Binet. It's you. You're finally with us. I just like to apologize. Recorder. Trouble our sins may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity, and they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests. Most of which I designed myself. <sighs> Not to make problems for you, though. I. Uh, will you be staying with us then? Um, yeah, I think so. Yes, of course. Ah, good. Sean is most pleased, I'm sure. He's been quite uh. pleased to have you with us. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. Alright, well, let's look at your frickin' terminal here. What you got, buddy? Production schedule. 63 specialized. Six G3 specialized. G3 standard. G2 security. Salvage. Okay. F oh, four, two, three. Okay. Uh, operations and maintenance, excavation, and construct construction. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, okay. It's pretty neat. And system upgrades. Okay. It's a current project. Okay. New synthetic optic nerve tissue. Increased visual acuity. the bloods more rapid clotting improved infection resistance is pretty cool yeah okay uh, open that and AO redact ooh this AO is interesting project updates SRB investigation Unique project is VATS. Okay. Alright, so I'm really digging that. Now we came in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Must be processed without delay. I get in the way. Oh, it just pushes me out. I go in here. 
Hang on here. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. I was gonna try and loot that little box right there, but that's alright. I'm trying to get our institute tour wrapped up here. I'm hoping within a half an hour. I'm hoping that these other instances aren't that big. I'd like to get the institute mapped mapped out. I guess we're gonna walk right past that. Go to center attention. Okay. Nothing to report, ma'am. Synth uh retention bureau? Is that what that means? Anything suspicious to the SRV. To knock some heads together. They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other people. Soft on me, Alana. My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Okay, so we're in here. No, we don't really need to do that. Okay, there must be some glass here. Okay. Uh, oof. Must lay you down and trick you a bunch up your back. Let's look at the terminal here. What's up with this? Our boundless is all right. New visitor. Hmm. <clears throat> Aha. Ah, the mayor. <clears throat> mayor of Diamond City. The mayor wants to be a fucking courser. <laughs> Secord. We saw that name earlier. Dang, hey, it was the homie, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's go left first. Okay, got a map. Got a bunch of sensors and applicators. Okay, we got a got a cursor, courser. Courses on the hunt are relentless. If you see one, you should stay out of its way. Oh. Yeah, we saw that Sakord. It'll be a difficult adjustment Excuse for you, me. but try to remember that synths aren't people. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Oh heck yeah! Look at all. Ooh, ooh! I'll take anything that you cannot see sitting out 
on display. SRB terminal is gonna say the same thing we all did. So let's go talk to Ao. Is this, is this Ao? Are you Ao? No, you're not. Hello. There is that Ao or is it not? There you go. What's up, dude? If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. The hey, doctor, it should take so, the synth escapes more seriously. Here you are, Justin Ao, acting director of the synth retention bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Mm, why don't you trust me, fool? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. No. You're an outsider. <laughs> the first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this but it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's mm -hmm. something personal, mm -hmm. I assure you. Now, mm -hmm. Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Uh, with Kellogg's pistol. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so. <sighs> Courser should be more than a <clears throat> single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good to go. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Uh, well, hmm. like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen. I wonder if I can find out why some of the synths look just like the other ones. Like, are they all infiltrator synths? Like, the, we've we've ran across these synths that look just like other people. It'd be cool to find out why. Man, I really wish my internet was better. Status. All functions normal. Greetings, ma'am. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Alright, I've got to take a little break. Actually, some stuff just came up. <laughs> 